Hi y'all, happy Friday. You know, one of the most important qualities that a woman can have is confidence. In a world that sometimes gleefully questions our value and our competency based solely on gender, it can be a little bit of a fight to get there. Once you do, it can be the most powerful weapon in your arsenal, your superpower. The thing that gets you through bad times, negative people, situations, it can pull you through. But what is confidence really? Confidence is knowing what you're good at, the value you provide, and acting in a way that communicates that to others. It has nothing to do with your actual ability to succeed at something, but rather your belief in your ability to succeed. Confidence is not arrogance. An arrogant person is somebody that needs to feel smart or good at something at the expense of others. A confident person feels competent from the inside out. They may seek external validation, but they don't depend depend on it to define their sense of their own ability. Confident women remain calm under pressure, and most importantly, they know their self-worth and their value. Here are 10 common traits that all confident women have. How many do you have? Comment below. This is an interactive community. If you don't comment and share, we don't exist. They focus on their strengths. Confident women recognize the holes in their skill set. I mean, we all have them, but they work to strengthen them while at the same time still honoring the strengths and abilities that got them to where they are today. They do not get sucked into gossip. Confident women don't talk negatively about other women. They talk about their goals, their plans, their aspirations, where they want to go in life. They recognize the importance of staying neutral and they choose to operate above the fray. They honor self-care. Confident women value themselves and they feel worthy of taking care of themselves. They practice a healthy work-life balance, which includes things like eating healthy, fueling their body with nourishing foods, exercising, getting enough sleep, and carving out times in what is undoubtedly a busy schedule to take time for themselves, meditate, read, do nothing, hang out with a friend. Confident women know they're worthy of taking care of themselves. They do not mute their purpose. Look, there was a time when women were supposed to do nothing other than bear children and caretake. And so what happens with that? They were forced to mute their own passions, their own aspirations. Confident women are fearless and passionate about their own pursuits, and they're not afraid to share those with others. They don't feel the need to set it aside and keep it under wraps because it might be contrary to the expectations of family or a spouse. Hey y'all, time for a quick shout out. I'd like to give a shout out to my girl, Miss Paige Rainey. Paige, thank you for being a part of the community. I greatly appreciate having you here. And if you would like a shout out, please be sure to comment below, subscribe to my channel. I have brand new videos every Tuesday and Friday on all things style, wellness, beauty, and travel. And I would love to have you as part of our community. They don't buy into society's idea of the perfect woman. To a confident woman, the perfect woman is one who knows who she is, but she also knows who she is not and she owns it. She doesn't feel the need to improve or change anything about herself unless she herself wants to do it. They know the power of no. Confident women don't overcommit and they don't make promises that they can't keep. They just say no. And since she knows who she is and who she isn't, she consciously commits only to things that align with her personal beliefs, her personal passions, things that interest her. In short, she knows what is most important to her and she says no to all else. They ask for help. Confident women don't feel threatened or less than by asking for help from others. They understand that being successful, however they define it, isn't built in a vacuum just by one person. They know the value of building a team around them, much like a successful CEO has to do. She knows it takes a team and she isn't afraid to hit the help button when needed. They own their feelings. No matter the circumstances, confident women strive to understand their own emotions and they own up to them. Whatever the range of emotion, they confront it head on and they seek to deal with it. They take the opportunity to express themselves without blaming others and seek to confirm that they're understood in the process. They don't waste time on shoulda, coulda, woulda. Confident women know to invest their energy on the here and now, on the things that they can control. They don't sit around wringing their hands saying, I shoulda, I coulda, I woulda, what if. Look, time and energy is precious. The past is the past. Move on. Control what you can control. 
there will always be what if scenarios. You cannot possibly account for and cover all of them. Make the best decision, move on, move forward. And finally, they don't see failing as failing. They see it as an opportunity. Look, confident women fully understand and realize that some of the most successful people in the world failed numerous times before they hit their stride. And the same is true of all of us. Failing at something really isn't failing. It's an opportunity to learn, to grow, and really I call it to get your battle scars. And once you failed and then succeeded, it resonates more with people who are coming up behind you because you understand what it feels like. You can help them to see around corners that maybe they don't see around. Every failure that I've had in my life, I truly and honestly with every fiber of my being appreciate it. Not only did I learn from it, but it gave me the confidence to understand that I could get through anything, pick myself up and move forward. Many of you know, before I started Annie Parker Confidential, my sister and I went into business together and we started a line of travel gear. It was figuring out how to manufacture, start to finish, finding a manufacturer in China. It was a lot of work. In the end, we closed the business. Did I see it as a failure? I did not. I learned so much along the way that I was able to take a multitude of things that I learned from the business, apply it to Annie Parker Confidential, and it allowed the business to grow at an exorbitantly higher rate than had I not known that. It wasn't a failure. It was an opportunity to learn. And with every fiber of my being, I am grateful for it. Okay, ladies, those are 10 traits of highly confident women. Please go ahead and share below which ones resonated with you the most. What traits do you have? What traits would you like to work on? I always love hearing from you. This is an interactive community. If you don't comment and share, we don't exist. And until a couple days from now, I'll see y'all later. Bye. If you never fall, you don't change at all